right, uh, parents, uh, listen, we're gonna be talking about some pretty steamy stuff here, so this might be a good time to send your kids to play somewhere else. Or you can just sit them in front of this set <laughs> and probably have to put them in therapy in two years. <laughs> uh, when it comes to getting freaky, uh, most people lie about their true desires because they're afraid of being judged. Now, today, we're tossing all judgments aside. So before the show, our audience took a test that determines their, <laughs> their freak number. <laughs> Some of the questions included, how comfortable are you having sex in daylight? Do you express pleasure with moans and other noises? And have you ever recorded yourself having sex? Your freak number can range from one to 10. One being not freaky at all. <laughs> and 10, you just... You, you just doing the most. You just, <laughs> you, you, you everything you ever, ever dreamed of plus so. So audience, uh, let's see your freak numbers. Hold them up. <laughs> yes, yeah, a lot of low numbers. <laughs> Wait, whoa. Okay, that's not a low number. You have a 10? Well, um, hi. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. I'm very surprised. I know. <laughs> Just look like one of the ushers down at the church. <laughs> she got a 10 up. <laughs> Were you surprised at that number? Yes, very surprised. <laughs> well, I bet the folks back at the church gonna be even more surprised. <laughs> Here to break down what these numbers really mean is my friend, sex and relationship therapist, Dr. Laura Berman, and one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, my buddy and the host of Candy Coated Nights, Miss <laughs> Candy Burris. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're about to find out what's happening now. Uh, Dr. Berman, clinically speaking, what is a freak number? How many candy coated nights you have? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's, you know, it's really about how open you are, how adventurous you are, how willing and able you are to step out of your comfort zone, and, you know, how freaky you are. And there's evidently quizzes out there, which our audience took here, uh, letting you know, you know, how freaky you really are, just looking at what you're willing and not willing to do and what you've tried and not tried. Candy? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, agree with everything she just said. I mean, we always say, you know, what's your freak number? When I say it, I mean, okay, how open-minded are you? Because, you know, some people are like, I would never do that, or I would never do this. And I'm like, okay, you're boring. <laughs> but for me, you know, I think I'm about an eight. You know, I'm a good, strong eight. I won't do everything, but I'll do a lot. <laughs> I'm open-minded, honey. I'm open-minded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we've got some couples here who are worried uh, that they're on uh, separate pages when it comes to sex. Please welcome Jacqueline and Brandon and uh, Janita and Ali. <laughs> Let's start with Jacqueline and Brandon. Jacqueline, what's going on? Brandon and I have been together for three years. We have a two-year-old daughter, and we just got married this June. We have a really active and healthy sex life, but we have a few things that we clash on. He wants me to initiate sex, and he views me as, like, sweet and innocent, which that's my natural, like, I feel sweet and innocent. Mm -hmm. So when I talk sexy and I'm open and vulnerable, I say words like wiener, and he <laughs> starts laughing at me. It just, like, comes out. I mean, your parents don't teach you dirty talk, yeah. so, like, it, it... Thank goodness. Wiener? <laughs> that, he laughs That's at exactly me, what and I'm said. trying. I'm trying really hard <laughs> to be vulnerable. Mm, yeah. I know. But you want her to talk dirty. Is that what that, you're saying? That's a wish that you have, is for her. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So. But she hasn't been able to pull it off yet. What I love about her is the fact that she is innocent and authentic and Gorgeous. sexy as can be. Aww. This is the most provocative she ever dresses, and she did it just for you. It doesn't, I don't get to see this, y'all. Right? I went shopping. <laughs> I'll cover my leg. 
Okay, so Jacqueline Brandon, let, let's reveal your freak numbers. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it was high. Oh, it's amazing. You thought yeah. yours was high? The not. And what did you think? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Game over. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but his reaction is, yeah. <laughs> okay, D Dr. Berman, how, how can these two get on the same page? Well, I think you probably are just caught up in that nice girl syndrome where you were raised with these ideas of what nice girls should and shouldn't do. And then you get married, you're supposed to flip a switch and be swinging from the chandeliers. <laughs> yes. And it can be hard to kind of let go of those old ideas. So I would have you screaming out curse words out the window on the highway <laughs> and into your pillow and just practice. I want to make him? you practice. No, you can do it by yourself. Oh, okay. But just practice and then practice with him. I'm not talking even sexually. Just get used to using the words and saying the words. And then if you, at first... You get your ass over! Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going me again. the dirty words at other people, although you could, like Steve does. But, you know, just really get the practice. And then at first, the, the first step would be just to narrate what he's doing. Oh, you're touching me here. That feels, you know, that's like often the first step that I find for women talking dirty is just to give a running, really positive commentary of what he's doing, like you're the narrator. And then you start adding in the naughty words, and then it gets easier and easier. Me personally, Amen. I feel like... Sometimes. Don't start blurting out anything crazy just yet. You know, sometimes maybe if you just go with the heavy breathing and like a lot of, you know, the moaning, guys like that. As well as I used to ask some of my friends, what is your best line in the bedroom? Oh, that's mm -mm. good. So, so what, you no? no? I got some help. You want... No. Oh, I got he some help. Yeah, I can give it to you and write it down. One, for one, you. one of her friends. <laughs> one of her friends said, tell him I want to gobble it up. So I did. <laughs> what? That was a but bad no, 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 no. I might as well say wiener. No, no. Can I say something? I might as well say it. Can I I'm say sweating. something? I, I was Let cool me say something. That. It's how you say it. It's yeah, how you true. say yes. it. Probably true. Because like, okay, and then you should bring like little extra fun things to the bedroom. Candy like toy. we have these, yeah. We have these massage oil um, candles that melt in their edible. Yeah. So you can burn them, bedroom bring candy candles, and pour them on the body directly, and then start licking on them, lick on his oh. chest, and say, I want You know what you should do? You, you should up. get a... If you would have licked on his chest <laughs> with some, uh, as you're giving him the massage oil <laughs> treatment, he would have loved it for you to say, I want to gobble you up, and then kiss her. Uh, oh. And you know what? Maybe, uh. maybe get a little persona. Like, you know, give her a different name, you gotta, you gotta and then it. pretend that you're her okay. when you're in the bedroom, and then you kind of take on a different persona. You're not really you. Yeah. yeah you're yeah, role else. playing. Yeah. I'm open. I'm trying. Yeah. Sure. Just try. We'll give her that. This this is the happiest day of your life right yeah. now. <laughs> he just went, thank you, God. <laughs>